What's going on everybody? We're out here on the water. Me and my friend Jeremy are going to do a little bit of fishing. Uh, today is going to be especially focused on jig fishing. That's something I don't really ever do. I have so many other baits that I prefer way more and they work for me. But I know some of these bigger fish have been caught in these few tournaments. Uh, I think the jig bite is starting to pick up a little bit. So we're going to get out here, try and do a little bit of jig fishing. We're going to learn. We're going to fish some points that I don't fish. Come out of Shawnee Bend and going to the right. 99% of my fishing goes out of Shawnee Bend towards the dam. So today, we're going the other way. Try something different. better are the ones with the cable. If they have the cable, that means you can cast about 10 foot off the dock, let it sink, let it sink, let it sink. And uh, you can pull it up over that cable and bounce it off it like it's a log. You know what could do? problem is every now and then you just got to be able to tell what the cable is. You don't want to bring your spinnerbait up and hit the cable and set the hook because you'll cut your spinnerbait right off. I better do this for now. I've gotten enough sun this past weekend that Guys, one thing you can always make sure you do, take care of your skin. You know, skin cancer runs in my family. My dad had it, my grandparents had it. So taking the time to take care of your skin will help you out and have better days in the future. So don't be too gung-ho to not put sunscreen on or put a long sleeve shirt. That's why I always wear long sleeve shirts. You know, they protect your skin, take care of you, and uh, so you can enjoy your fishing in your later years. So that's your uh, tip of the day. That's a solid keeper right there. He's a good 15 and a half. Just popping it up off the bottom and letting it sink, weren't you? Yep. Yeah, 15 and a half. All right. At the drop? About what, 30 foot from the bank? No. Right in the middle? 20 foot from it. Gotcha. There's some fishes. For a week straight. I love the fishes. Right. The whole school one, my friend. When, when I first got the schedule for the bass, the Mid Lake Bass Club, yeah, it was. Oh, god dang it! Come on, come back. There's plenty of them down there now. I'm picking up a whole bunch of them. The tournament's missed every one of them. Nice! It's a good one! Let's get 
your counter. <sighs> well, I told you there's a bunch now. of them below us. Video game fishing at its finest. Solid two and a half pounder or gorging on who knows what. Gorging on shad it feels like. Good solid keeper. I'd take him in a tournament any day. But right below the boat. That one's right there. Go straight towards that white styrofoam. Yep, you're just to the left. I got a bass instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked out. <laughs> Go carp fishing and you get a bass. Can't complain about that. Oh, that was pretty funny. Bet you can't do that again. <laughs> Finally get a bass. Kentucky, I think. Yep. Sitting under that ledge. I think this oh, was. Hold one. him up. I want to see his. So his fin goes all the way back. Yeah. I think it's not separated. Give him a kiss. We get on camera. Little Kentucky. He's a keeper. On a heart green pumpkin jig. Don't know how much you're gonna be able to see. It's getting dark. Let him go. Right back to that ledge. Got one? Yeah. Do I need the net? I need fucking drag. I don't know how much I'm going to get on camera. Oh, that's a good one. You want me to lip it? <laughs> what? What? All night about a black shake yet. Black yep. shake yet. Second cast. Oh. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you've got big fish for the night. <laughs> oh, sweet. Good three and a half pounder. Oh, yeah. That's a stout fish. <laughs> 